Okay, so I have my June and July 2017 empties today. Plus like a mini baby little life update. Um, I think I mentioned in my last empties that we're expecting. So there's that. Um, I'm due November and we're having a girl. And we've moved back up to... Oh, we're going to call her River Elizabeth. Um, I've, we've moved back up near St. Louis. I think I've mentioned before that that's where I'm originally from. So we're no longer living in Arkansas. We have a new apartment. I don't know if anybody cares because this channel's so tiny, but I am planning on doing an apartment tour. It's just not ready for that yet because um, we're taking a bit of time on packing and everything. You can see a bit of the bedroom here. Um, so there's that. Uh... Let's see, Alex is starting school this fall, he's got a new job, all of that good stuff. If you guys have any questions about any of that or anything else that's going on, feel free to ask. I just honestly, I hadn't been feeling like filming for a while, but now I'm like really ready to film after the moving and everything. I hadn't even been wearing makeup for like two months, but as you can see, I'm doing that again. Here, Phobos. Phobos, kitty. So yeah, that's that. Let's get into some empties. This is two months worth, and yes, I did un- well, I did kind of move some of my trash. I was going to film a June empties, but we got so hectic with the packing and everything, it didn't happen. So yes, I moved some trash. So this is it. I also have some declutters. I'm going to go through those first. These are all things I'm just going to send to my sister, um, and they're all perfumes. So I have this... Oh wait, this was the first one. This is a uh, Wild Fox perfume. Um, it just smelled really like stereotypical perfume plus baby powder meat. Not my thing, so I'm going to send it to her. Um, all of these are just going to be not my thing, so I'm going to send it to her. There's a Blood Witch perfume oil from House of Madame Josephine. Um, this one was nicer, but it was... Kind of cinnamony. Alex said it smelled like an earthbound store. Um, it did. In the jar, in the bottle, it smells a little bit like a cherry undertone, but it didn't on my skin. But it was just too much, and you know. Um, Sincerely by Harvey Prince. Um, this, I think it's got some kind of gardenia in it, because gardenia is the only thing I've noticed in perfume that's just like instant. Ugh, which I can't handle it, obviously, by the face. So. There's that. And then this is a small rollerball. I think I got it in Ipsy or something. It's Femina by Jarell Parker. Um, it's okay. It's, I think it might have a tint to gardenia, but it's such a light smell. I can't hardly smell it. But it's just not my thing, so. I'm going to send all those to her. That's all my declutters. Now I have this giant bin of empties. So, exciting thing, since we moved, we have recycling, so I'm going to get to recycle a lot of things. So, I'm just going to dig in. Um, we have Up and Up Baby Wipes Fresh Scent. We always have baby wipes. Um, these are nice. I would rebuy them. We use them for things around the house, cleaning up my makeup -y fingers, just all sorts of stuff. Um... So, yeah. I would... I have no idea what's on the bed. But, yes, I would repurchase those. We usually get just whatever wipes for from wherever we're shopping for the around the house ones. So, um... This is a mess. Okay. We have Quality Plus, which is like an off-brand tension headache relief. It's like the tension headache Excedrin. I would buy... This or Excedrin again, it's something I try to always keep around the house. And I think this was our last bottle, so I do need to repurchase that. Um, going to try not to own too much. It's been a while since I filmed. This is a Real Techniques like makeup spongy. I was washing this, and if you can see, it like started crumbling. So it died. I had one in backup that I cracked open, and I got another backup. Would definitely repurchase. Love these things. Um, this I put in here because it came from a Try the World box that I showed you guys opening on here, like, ages ago. It's the Sindiana of Galilee brand Extra Virgin Olive Oil. 
And since this was a small bottle and it came in that box, we've been using this to make um, the oil that you put like, spices and stuff in that you dip bread in. And it was really good. Alex ate a lot of this. So what did you think of it? It's actually a really high quality oil. I enjoyed it. I don't know if it's something I would seek out to buy, but we enjoyed it while we had it. Okay, and let's see. I have a candle. This is the 719 Walnut Avenue ones. This is Tiki Colada. Um, this was fine. It was a little bit, like, made a little bit of a mess. It burned fine. But I probably didn't get this again because it had zero throw. We really like the pumpkin waffles one. Like, Alex really likes the pumpkin waffle one, too. So I'll buy those again. But I don't think I'd buy any other ones from this. Everybody says, everybody on YouTube says that they're hit and miss, and I just don't want to worry about it. Plus, I'm doing a lot more of the wax melts. That's easier and safer and all that stuff, so... I'll probably buy their pumpkin, well, I will buy their pumpkin waffles this fall if I can find them, but I won't buy any of their other ones anymore. Uh, speaking of wax melts, I've got a couple here, and I know there's more in there. This is the Glade Wax Melts in Be Edgy Coconut Water and Freesia. This is one of their old spring ones. Um, these were nice. Kind of florally, kind of nice. Um, it's not something that, well, I can't repurchase it because they were like limited edition or whatever but if I could it's not something I would need to go out and repurchase but it was nice while I had it what were your thoughts it smells like laundry soap okay it's a nice smell but it's too soapy to me this one it's got like that acrid sharp odor that normally they have Ugh. this one's caramel pumpkin seeds and a lot of people on YouTube said this one didn't smell as good melting as it did cold I loved it I love this smell. It was super potent, too. So our apartment is, like, attached to my dad's office. I had this going back here in the wax melter in the bedroom, which is the farthest back. You could smell it all the way in the farthest front in the office. So these were really potent. They smelled really good. I really liked them. I'm definitely going to be looking for this this fall because it was really good. It's a seasonal one, but... It was really good. I'd definitely get that again. You need this gaga for pumpkin. Yeah, but it wasn't just pumpkin. It was like pumpkin-y, vanilla -y. Mom didn't smell pumpkin. Mom it smelled, smelled like a it. coffee shop. Alex says it smelled like a coffee shop. Mom said it smelled like vanilla or cake or something. I got kind of like bakery-y and pumpkin-y. It was just, it was good. I did get the caramel, too. Um, what did you think of those? It was alright. It was alright. Mm. This, mm. um... You know. I think I've gotten, ignore my mascara today, I'm using one of those samples that you pull out and it sucks. Um, but this, I think I've gotten better at using my mascara and I'm therefore putting more on. Because I went through this in like a month, which normally it takes me like three months to go through a full size mascara. But this is the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. And I absolutely love this. The wand looks like this. Um... But this was a great mascara. Um, this is definitely something I'll be repurchasing. Not right now, because I don't need any mascaras for a while. But this will definitely be on my list to repurchase, because I absolutely love this. Plus, the packaging is really cute. But it's a great mascara. And wet well mascaras are always super inexpensive. Um, this is kind of sad. This is Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Miami Fever from the Kathleen Lights collab. Um... It's drying out. It's smelling weird. The formula's um, weird. It's gone off a bit. It's a really pretty color. I really like the color. But like I said, it's gone off, so I can't... There, I don't want to wear it anymore. What level there is left in there. So, because it was a collab, I thought it was limited edition. I wouldn't be able to get it anymore, which I was sad about. But I looked on their site. It doesn't say Kathleen Lights on the tube anymore, but you can still get the Miami Fever color. So this is something I do plan on repurchasing. I really like this color. I just need to make it a point to use more. Um, this is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Hope. It's still got a little on the edges. I can probably get some out to swatch. Um, it's on my cheekbones today. You can see it there too. It's like right here if you can see that. It's supposed to be a shadow and it looks nice that way. But 
I really liked using it more as a highlighter. It's a really over-the-top highlighter, like you can see. But, um, I liked using it as that, and I was able to basically... Okay. It's a really pretty highlighter, if you don't mind, like, over-the-top stuff. Um, it's still got a little bit left in it, but it's getting to the point where I can get some out, but it's, like, leaving chunks on my face and making it look weird and stuff, so I'm just tossing it. But I used up the whole thing, and I used... I only used it as an eyeshadow a couple times. This was from uh, one of the Coffee Break with Danny collabs, but I like this. It's not something I need to repurchase, but I did enjoy it while I had it. I enjoyed using it that way. Uh, let's see. This is the Juice Organics Repairing Conditioner. Um, this was from like a subscription box. It's formulated without tons of a whole bunch of stuff. It's organic coconut, blah, blah, blah. It smelled nice. I used it, um, I got two uses out of it as a deep conditioner for my hair. And, um, it was fine for that. It's not something I would buy, but it was fine way to use it up. It's slightly much for my hair, but it's not too horrible. Um, up and up jumbo cotton balls. I just get cotton balls from wherever I'm doing my shopping. I will be repurchasing cotton balls. I don't have anything against these. If I'm shopping at Target, that's probably what I'll get again. You just miss the organic ones they used to have. Yeah, the organic ones I had were the best. I think they might have come back, though. So, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I always have cotton balls. This is the Zoella Beauty Snap Fizz Relax Bath Fizzers. These are the gingerbread bath fizzers they had around Christmas time. They actually had these at Target this year, which was cool. I got these after Christmas on clearance at Target. These were nice. I like them. Um, like all of her bath fizzies that I've had, they're moisturizing. They don't really leave a color. Um, I honestly don't get much scent from them, but they are nice. I wouldn't repurchase these ones if they came back out, but whenever she comes out with a new one, I do try them. Um, so, yeah. These are nice. Enjoy them while I had them kind of thing. I got another wax melt. This is American Home by Yankee Candle. In delicious cranberry um, this was the first um, time I used this brand they're yeah. kind of new you get them at Walmart that is really nice yeah these smelled really good I like these I would definitely pick these up again and they're not seasonal even though it's cranberry I'm just not really in the coffee style scent, so I really dig uh, like fruits and uh, and the Christmas pine scents that only come out around then. I don't know why. Actually, these might be. But I'm pretty sure they're not seasonal. Um, either way, I'm going to be picking these up again because these were really nice too. You made the whole place smell really nice. Yeah, did you have any other thoughts on those? Uh, they had pretty good throw, if I remember. Were those the ones that went on for forever too? or? Uh, no, that's the ones that are burning or melting now. Let me reorganize slightly because I'm piling everything together and it's not mildly bothering me. Yeah, we're at 13 and a half minutes. And... Yeah, this is going to be a long one if y'all are still here. Uh, get get ready. I'll do those at the end. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's okay. My arm's getting tired. Oh, I'm sorry. You did volunteer to do this. Okay. We've got you a volunteered me. We've got a Bath & Body Works uh, Fragrance Mist in Coconut Lime Breeze. I sat about this much in it when I got it. Um, I was actually surprised I liked the scent. It's not the kind of thing I buy. I don't buy their fragrance mists. But um, we used this as a bathroom spray, and it worked quite well for that. It also covered up cat box smells, so it's a good way to use them up, but it's not something I would buy, personally. Did you have thoughts on this? Mm, it was effective, I guess. I... Honestly, never used it. You can say you don't have thoughts on it, too. I don't remember it, so I don't really have thoughts on it. I remember you using it, but whatever. We went through a little travel size thingy of Advil. Um, it is so childproof that neither of us could get it open easily. There's, yeah, there's teeth, teeth marks, marks on, on it. it. Um, I probably <laughs> wouldn't buy this small size again. I think Alex got this at a gas station when he had a bad headache at work one day. Um, yeah. We haven't been going to ibuprofen like we normally do because I can't take it being pregnant. But this is also the only ibuprofen we could find since we've moved. We have a big bottle. 
but we always keep ibuprofen around. I just wouldn't buy the small bottles again. Okay, I have an eyeliner. This is the Ico I Do Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I pulled that up again. Oh yeah, I got it focused and you dropped it. Sorry. You goofy thing, you. It's got a tip that looks like this. And I can probably get some on there. It's just to the point where, yeah, even it's even faint on my hand. But it has a really nice point and everything, but it was just not doing my eyeliner anymore. Um, this was nice. I liked it. I haven't found a holy grail eyeliner yet. I like this. I would use it again. I would potentially buy it again, but there's always so many that I want to try that I don't need to get this one again. Plus, I've got a bunch in my bin that I need to use. So it was really nice. I would recommend trying it, but it's not like so amazing that I have to buy this specific one. You know what I mean? Um, basically the same thing for this eyeliner that I also finally finished. This is the BH Cosmetics BH Liquid Eyeliner. Is this focused? Yes. Okay. Um, the tip for this You'll need one, to pull it more to your right when I do it, though. This one looks like this. I don't know if I can... I might can get a swatch. Yeah, no, this one's totally, like, dried out. Um, it looks janky because the plastic inside the cap came out, so Alex glued it in, and then it wouldn't go all the way, but go enough to where it'd be airtight, whatever. Basically the same thing with this one. It's not so amazing that I need to buy this specific one again, but it was really nice while I had it. And this thing lasted for freaking ever. I do have another one of these in my backups because when I ordered something else from BH Cosmetics a few months ago, or like last year or something, they sent me one for free randomly. So I'll use it and enjoy it, but I don't need to buy another one. I don't know if I mentioned the Ico one says waterproof and it's in the color carbon black so there's that and then the bh one says it's cruelty free on it so there's that um i've got these there may be more of these in here um these are the equate flushable cleansing cloths and smell bahama wave compared to summer's eve island splash cleansing cloths we always get some of these somewhere, either the Walmart brand, the Target brand, or the brand name. Um, these are really good for, well, we're married. They're good for, like, sex stuff. I mean, being honest. That's what we get them for. That's what they're really good for. Plus, they're good, um, they have little ones, travel ones, in little individual packets. But we like keeping those in the car because, um... They're good for guys and girls, even though they're marketed for chicks. And if you go on a road trip, which we do pretty frequently, and if you do it in the summer, well, you know how guys are. So it helps to have those around if you get sweaty and icky and stuff like that. So we always keep these around in one form or another. We're out right now, but we will be repurchasing these in some format. Did you want to say anything about these? No. Have I thoroughly embarrassed you? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I've got a Sephora Soft Touch Cotton Pads. These are just the Sephora brand cotton rounds. Um, cotton rounds are like anything else. I usually get them just wherever I'm doing my shopping. If I'm not doing any shopping and I need some, I'll order them on Sephora because they're like four bucks and I get the flash shipping. So... I would buy these again. They're fine. I don't really have a favorite type of cotton rounds. I've got ones from CVS right now because that's where I was shopping and I was able to repurchase them. So, yeah, these are nice. Would rebuy, have bought in the past. I have a fortune cookie soap prepare to die bath bomb. This was glorious. Um, prepare to die is, well, it's Princess Bride, so I got a lot of stuff when they came out with that collection. But the, um, the scent is one of my favorite scents. I liked it so much I got it in the perfume oil. And this bath bomb was really moisturizing. It smelled great. Um, the only thing I didn't like is that it was yellow. 
so it looked kind of weird, but it had some black too, so it kind of toned it down some. But it was great. It was a wonderful bath. Um, I would buy this again if they came out with it again. I would buy anything that's a product that I would use in the prepare to die scent. I, I just I love that scent. And I like fortune cookie soaps, bath bombs too, as a rule. Okay. Let's do this. This is the Bath and Body Works Shower Gel in Wild Madagascar Vanilla. Um, its keynotes are our exclusive Madagascar Vanilla Accord, African Pear, Wild Jasmine, and White Sandalwood. So here's the smell. Yeah, I remember that stuff. Um, he's going to help me use up our not fancy shower gels, but Alex has decided he only wants Bath and Body Works if we can manage it. I've, I've corrupted him and he's spoiled now. Yeah, it's high but, quality stuff. It works really well and it doesn't leave a film or anything. And uh, usually the smells are a lot nicer. So if I'm going to have a bunch of like fruity, vanilla-y, sweet smells all over the place, I'd rather have Bath, Bath and Body Works because it doesn't smell so fake like uh, any of the others we've tried. Plus, I'm not allergic to them, and I can usually get them for three bucks a pop at the semi-annual sale, which is the only time I'll buy them. I will not pay full price for these, because that's like 12 bucks or something, and that's just stupid. If I can get them for three or four, or if it's a scent we really like, five bucks at the semi-annual sale, yeah, I'll buy them. Um, for me, this scent is one that if I was shopping this semi-annual sale, I was there and I smelled it, I would grab it. But it's not on my, I have to make sure I get this list. Yeah, our dog wants in, but I'm not going to let her in until we get done because she's going to make a mess of this. So she'll be fine. So it's not a scent I have to have, um, but it's one I would be perfectly happy to get again. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, your thoughts on this scent? It smells good. I like vanilla. It's a nice smell. Um, I, of course, prefer like fruit smells, but that's still quite nice. We do have a pretty big back stock of Bath and Body Works, so for the semi-annual sale in December, we're probably only getting stuff on our must-have scent list. Um, this isn't on there for you, is it? On my must-haves? That particular scent? No. I... Okay. I didn't think so, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, let's see here. This is a perfume sample I did use up. This is the Marc Jacobs Decadence. I have another sample of this size of this. Um, that I've moved to my, like, collection area. I love this perfume. It smells so good. And when we can afford it, I'm buying a rollerball of it. Um, Alex, you really like this one, too. Mm. Yeah, um, it's, like, it's really, it smells, like, old-fashioned, um, classy. Yeah, I really like it. It's got this yeah. deep musk to it that's uh, not overpowering, but it's it's very mature. It's not like something... It's hard to explain, because like an old hag kind of person wouldn't wear it, but it's... It just feels like... It, it smells like Art Deco, you know? Go I don't to know. Sephora and smell this. It smells great. I love yeah. it. Like I said, I'm going to be purchasing Rollerball as soon as we can afford it. So... Um... These are Little Critters Immune, uh, they're gummy vitamin C's. They're meant for kids, but we're taking them because we need vitamin C's, and I prefer gummy vitamins. Um, I'm not going to be buying these again because they, okay, so you get 190 gummies, but something about these Little Critters ones, whenever you open it, they start drying out, and by the time you get to the end of the bottle, they're hard as everything. Plus, Alex really does not like gummy vitamins, so we're going to be switching to a swallowable um, vitamin C. We have some other ones that we need to use up first, but we will be switching to that. But I won't be buying these again. Is there anything you want to say about them? I don't know why you had me taking kids' vitamins, but... Because they were the only gummy vitamin C's that weren't orange flavored that I could find. I don't like orange. So. I love you. I love you. I'm not not going to be buying those again. All right, all right, I'll go get the dog, but she's going to make a mess. Okay. Okay, the dog is in, and she better stay over there. 
I love her. Don't worry. I'm going to be giving her attention. I just don't want her messing up my files. Okay. We have a sample soap. Dad got this for Alex at a chiropractic conference he went to. This is Dr. O'Hara's Probiotic Hampuku Beauty Bar. It's um, a product of Japan. Alex used this. So I'll let him tell you what he thought about it. That was that little brown Japanese one. Yeah, it's it's pretty high quality soap. Um, because of the size, it felt like hotel soap to me. But uh, it smelled pretty well, cleaned pretty well, and it didn't leave a residue. Um, I didn't really notice any long-lasting effects from its use uh, for good or nil, but it did its job. I don't know what it was supposed to do, but... It's supposed to promote and maintain radiant-looking skin. Well, you'd know better than me if my skin looked radiant. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I glow in the dark most of the time, but... Is it something you would buy? No. Okay. Let's see, I've got... This, um, Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlighter. I will not be rebuying, repurchasing this. It's a cushion highlighter. And for one, it was very, um, it's in the color Who's That Pearl, but they only have one color anyway of the highlighter. Um, for one, it was really, really light. You had to put a lot on to be able to see it, even on my paleness. And for two, I used it like once or twice, and I put it in my drawers. I didn't wear makeup for a couple months, and I went to use it the other day. I even flipped the cushion around, and it was so dried out, I couldn't get anything. Like, I'm doing this, and you can see a tiny bit on my finger, but that's it. So, I just, I've got stuff in my collection, and I, I'm not going to buy something that I know is just going to dry out before I can use it. So, I mean, it's a nice one. If you have a smaller collection, you would use this, like, every day, then maybe. But I wouldn't buy it again, personally. Um, this is the Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. It's, like, an in-shower lotion. This was nice. I got this in, like, a subscription box or something. It worked well. Um... If, it's one of those things that if I had a coupon, I would buy it, but I wouldn't make it a point to go buy it. It m lotioned my legs really well. It was really nice because I still haven't found our lotion in our boxes that we're unpacking. And I used this in the shower a couple of times, and it really, like, moisturized my legs really well. So there's that. Um, don't put it on the bottom of your feet. So we had one of those, you know, stereotypical plastic bathtubs before that has, like, the bumpies on the bottom. And I used it there, no problem. Well, when we moved, the new place has like a, is it like porcelain or what is it? Our bathtub. Yeah, it's porcelain, I think. I it's can't like tell. porcelain or something. I don't know. It's super slippery. So I used this stuff. And, and you used it on the bottom of your feet even after I told you not to. Twice. Because twice. I forgot the second time. And both times, Alex had to come in the bathroom and literally lift me out of the shower because I could not get out without slipping and falling. So, there's that. Um, but yeah, it was fine. I kind of indifferent. Like I said, if I had a coupon, I'd get it. But beyond that, I don't really need it. Um, here's another perfume sample. This was actually, um, I guess cologne. This was Alex's. This was Invictus by Paco Rabanne. Um, Ugh. it smelled nice, but it's not, like, so nice that I need to buy it for him or anything. Did you, here, smell, did you have any thoughts on that? It just you? smells douchey. Like, I, I really don't like it. So, not something we would be buying. This is also Alex's. This is one of his scrubbies. I got this at Walmart, and I know you said you really liked this one. It's it's starting to die. That's why we switched it. It was dense, and and I like dense, thick uh, uh, luthas or whatever. So I think we would be buying one of these again if I can find them at Walmart again. So like you said, he likes the really densely packed ones, and this lasted quite a while too. So, any other thoughts? It worked for quite a while. And this is something you would repurchase, yes? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. 
I have, this is Layla's actually. This is Sargent's, which is Dollar General brand. Skip Flea and Tick Shampoo for Dogs and Puppies. We got this the day we found her. We got a bunch of stuff at Dollar General, which is the first store we found after we found her. Uh, this is Clean Cotton Scent, which I didn't notice. This is like a stereotypical dog shampoo. It worked fine on her. Um, it lasted us like a year. And yeah, she is the kind of dog, though, that her fur always looks shiny. It's always super soft. People think we bathe her like every day, but we don't. Um, so she can use pretty much anything, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this worked fine. I don't know. If, I mean, I wouldn't be against buying it again, but I wouldn't make it a point to buy it again. I just need to get some dog shampoo. Um, our cat shampoo smells like some kind of floral stuff, and they smell great after we bathe them. So if I can get her something that smells like that, that's totally what I'd go for instead. But, yeah, just need dog shampoo. Um, these are the Sephora Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. I like these. These are really nice. I would consider getting them again, but it's not something I have to have. I am going to try um, some of the other scents in these, and I do have the rose ones somewhere that I'll be using at some point. But yeah, these are nice. I enjoyed them while I had them. Did you use any of these? No. Okay. Um, we have a Nature's Life brand Zinc 50 milligrams. These are Alex's. Um, I have repurchased the Zinc, just not this brand. Since we moved, I was getting a lot of our vitamins at a place called Natural Grocers. And since we've moved, we don't have that, so I got the replacement ones at Walmart. Still 50 milligrams. Um, zinc is something that he takes one 50 milligram tab of daily and oh these have two and a half milligrams of copper too that's not the important part the important part is the zinc so it's, zinc is something we have repurchased will repurchase just not necessarily always the same brand um he takes zinc for I'm about to tur turn 30. Most men around my age start to experience a drop in testosterone. Zinc helps counteract that. And because of that, it also helps with your depression some, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, helps with mood, confidence, uh, that kind of thing. Um, is there anything else you want to say about your zinc? So, yeah, that's something that's in his daily rotation. It's not something I take, though. Uh, this, wow, you got a lot to talk about. This is also Alex's. This is the Bedhead by TIGI Manipulator Texturizer. It's like gunk you put in your hair. Yeah, my, my, my aunt actually gave that to me. It's so there's no telling how, blue? there's no telling how old it was when I got it. I don't even know. Like, it's probably from the 90s or something. I don't know. I think they still make it. I mean, that pot. Oh, okay. It was effective. Um, made my hair spike or faux hawk or whatever I wanted to do with it. So I don't know if I would repurchase it or not. I'm not sure what I would repurchase, honestly, for my hair. So this isn't something I need to make a point 